Hi everybody, my name's Barry and this is Daily Focus. With everything that's going on these days, it's, it's pretty easy to feel knocked down. I think most of us do in one way or another. But I think there's some perspective that we can gain here and that perspective actually comes from history and in particular the history of the church. You see, these moments that we're going through, these events, they're not new in history. There have been epidemics before us and the church has engaged those each time throughout history. And an amazing thing has occurred every time it's engaged these moments. The church, instead of falling back or shrinking away, it rose. And so we're gonna to focus today on a scripture that's found in the book of Micah. It's in chapter seven, verse eight, and it says this, rejoice not over me, O my enemy, when I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. And so I want to talk today a bit about how do we go about rising at a time like this when these events conspire to knock us down. And the first thing I want to talk about is an action we can take, which is remember what God has done for you already. And see, here's the thing. What's so common for us is for us to forget what God has done over the period of years in our lives when we run into something as difficult as what we're facing now. We forget. So the first order of business is to take a piece of paper and a pencil or go to your computer and type out one instance where you know God affected a miracle in your life where he acted in your life in such a way that it caused a change of the course of events for you that was an incredible blessing that you knew could not have happened without God intervening in your life. Take that moment and write it down or print it out. And then once you've got that, take it now and put it on your mirror, put it on your refrigerator, put it someplace where you can see it on a regular basis, someplace where you're continually reminded of what God has already done for you. And the second thing is read about those who have come before you that God has acted in their lives. And see, here's the thing, guys. The power of the word of God is that it can speak comfort to us if we let it. And part of that comfort is that there is a narrative of the lives of people who God has directed and taken through incredible hardship. In fact, one of the best places that you can go to read about those events is the book of Psalms. And that's my second recommendation. Take some time out, open the Bible, and just simply go to the book of Psalms. See what encouragement is going to be there. You're going to see the stories and the narratives of people who struggled with incredible difficulty and hardship, and how God took them through those events in their lives, and how God saw them through. And this is something that we can lean on because we can see the evidence of what God has done in their lives and what God has done in ours. So I can say again just two things. One is, write down or print out something that God has done previous in your life so that you remember it and you can look at it and say, yes, God has moved in my life. And second, go to God's word, go to the Psalms and look at how God has acted in the lives of others to take them out of the kind of difficulties that we're facing now. And I wanna leave you with this last scripture. This is in 2 Corinthians 4. It says, we are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. We're perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are not forsaken, not struck down, and not destroyed. So we do not lose heart, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, like this. Transient means this is not going to last forever, and it's not. But we look to the things that are unseen, which are eternal. So in closing, guys, we need to focus on the things that are gonna last beyond these events. And those are the things of God. Remember what he's done for you and go into his word to discover the things he's done for others.